Hello everybody, this is Uppish, and welcome back to Silent Hill 3. In the last video, we went to, uh, we started the game, dealt with our, our weirdo, the weird, uh, cop, or weird PI investigating us, and we made it down here into the subway station, um, I had to go and do some stuff, because I think I died, and I had to, after I died, I think I just ended up stopping. So, yeah, I went, uh, while, while I, uh, eh, what am I trying to say? Um, so, just to let you all know, I have gone around and basically done all the tasks again. And now I've just got to figure out where we go next. So, yeah, without further ado, let's continue. Oh, fudge. One of those dang dogs again. Alright, apparently, I've looked it up, but apparently we need to find a door with a red light. I don't know what that means, or what that's supposed to mean, or anything, but... Oh, I see. Lock is broken, I can't open the door. Oh, fudge. Move, 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 move. Get up, get up, get up, get up. There we go. Ah, oh, finally. A way out of this place. Here we go. Here's the door into the train. I wonder why the hell she was, f like, smacking on the windows like that. I mean, seriously, she literally walked right onto the freaking train. She didn't expect that it would somehow, I don't know, um, close its doors when you walked through them. Hmm? Like all subway trains do? There's a new pa newspaper on this seat. Some old, boring articles. Okay then, thank you for, not, for making me not have to read that. <laughs> what about this? Same thing. Okay, then. Oh, fudge, that's scary. Get back in, get back in, get back in. Fudge! Oh, yeah, it's those creatures. I don't have to worry about them too much. I'm not gonna try and attack them. Oh, this is creepy. The hell? Okay, where the hell am I now? Be juice can. Um. Oh, what's this? Ooh, shotgun shells. And a first aid kit, yay. Oh, we're finally where we need to be? Awesome! Yay! All I see is the track. Wait a minute, there's no place for the conductor, so how does it run? Or did the car before it already go on ahead? I didn't hear it or feel it if it did. Anyway, it's obviously pointless to stay on the stream no longer. Yeah, I agree with you. This is weird. Huh, just a singular door. On this platform. Weird that they're letting me off here, but okay then. Where the hell am I now? Oh no, going down into this creepy freaking hallway. Let's get a move on. There's this. And then there's that down there. Which way do I want to check? I, I guess I'll check this way first. B broken. Of course it's broken. <laughs> okay, I guess we gotta go down this long... Weirdly lit yet kind of foreboding hallway. Oh, I knew it. Oh fudge Of course the locks broken move Just move avoid them avoid them avoid them. Oh, what is this room? This is interesting Ooh, First aid kit 
Hmm. Oh. What the? Ooh, I got a mall. Yay. Toolbox here, but there's not really nothing inside. Okay, then. And? Yes, I got a map. A mall and a map. The mall might be useful. Maybe. There's blood seeping out of the locker. Is there something inside? Oh, wait. I'm gonna leave this one alone. I agree. Better to leave it alone. Oh, fudge. That's a big boy. Ooh, here's a bunch of good stuff. I think I got some jerky, too. Wine in a place like this? Well, I suppose it is dark and dry. Oh, got a wine bottle. Was that then got a hell of Yeah. I do- I also find it really weird that that was there. But now I've got a wine bottle, which I didn't actually mean- didn't actually know that I'd be able to pick up, but... <laughs> okay, then. Oh, neat little shortcut between pathways. Wait, what was that down there? Just a scrap of pa paper, I guess. What is up with this place anyways? Why was this place built? The hell am I now? Machine control room, is that what that said? Weird. There's a hoist here, but how do I get it to work? This might be the fuel tank. There's nothing in it, though. Ah, maybe I can put uh, the alcohol in it? Ah, save point, yay. There's some kerosene left in here, looks like. That I bet I could put the, some in that empty wine bottle. Ah, there we go. There we go. Got some kerosene in the tank. And press. What the hell did it hoist up? What did the hoist pull up? Did it, like, let drain the water down there, or... I don't know if I want to go down there just yet. There might be some stuff around the area that I can collect. Okay, so... I went around and looked for some more stuff, and I don't think there is anything left, because... Everywhere I went, there was something blocking the way, or... I just couldn't open doors, so I pretty much just went and filled out the rest of the map that I could get to. There's pretty much nothing left as far as I can tell. So yeah, let's just go ahead and go down now. Thanks to that thing, all the water's finally drained out of the hole. It looks like I'll be able to get down there now. I can stand- I can- if I can stand the smell, that is. Ugh. Yeah, I, I myself would find it so bad. The smell would be so freaking putrid. This must be where the water gets drained out. Yep, I think so too. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that smushing noise. Ew. I really don't like that smushing noise underneath her feet. But it's a really nice effect, though. Okay, can't interact with that. Okay, then. Just keep moving. Oh, this is creepy. Who the hell even built this place? Like... Seriously, who built this place? How did it even get built like this? Really? Get out of the freaking poop water. Ugh. Yeah. Good thing I'm over here. <laughs> okay, what's in here? A lot of garbage. Where the hell did it come from? Oh, wait. Um, I guess this is all the stuff that gets tossed out into the sewers. I guess that would make sense. Ampule? Ampule? I don't know how this is pronounced. Nothing? Nothing there? A wheelchair? Why would a wheelchair be thrown out here? I would ask the exact same thing. Oh, what is this? Dryer. Hmm. What would I need a dryer for? I guess it's a good thing that I uh, came down here, or came up here, and uh, looked around. I don't think there's anything else in here, though. Doesn't look like it anyways. Let's get going. Okay. Now to just start searching around again because this is another new area. Or, or part of this area. 
Now this is even weirder. Is this a security monitor? I can't see anything. It must be broken. Yeah, I agree. And there's another one of those save seals here. Danger, keep out. Uh, this was probably pasted on that door there. I can see where it fell off. Yeah, there are documents on the floor. They don't look like they have anything to do with me. Um, but they've got today's date on them. That's weird. I agree, that is really weird. Mm, looks like we're gonna have to go through that door. I'm not gonna like this. I hope it's nothing bad. Why is there blood on this floor? And on the back of this door? It's too dangerous to cross. I have a bad feeling about this. I agree completely. What could possibly be in there? In that water? Mm, maybe I should go out and around. Nope, there was nowhere else to go. So apparently we just have to do this. Okay, what does this say? I mean, it looks like I could jump in, possibly, but... Uh, there's an outlet here. Haha, -ha, got it. Now whatever was in the water is dead. <laughs> okay, what is this? What kind of valve could this be? I doubt it's anything important, I'll just leave it alone for now. Okay, then. What is this? Oh, well, this is strange. The drum is in the way, there's something inside, I doubt I can move it. Hmm. Perhaps you're right. <sighs> Realistically, though, you could have just moved the freaking drum in the boxes. Okay, I think I'm where I need to be. Uh, let's just keep going down. For some reason, it keep just take, keeps just taking us down, and I have no idea why. What was that sound? What the budge was that sound? Oh, I don't like it. Man. What is that sound? Is there something like inside pipes or something that I'm hearing? The hell, am I outside now? It's really freaking dark. I think I am outside. Isn't that something, huh? Where am I now? Ooh, two amp two health drinks, yay. Okay, seriously though, where the hell am I? Mm. What was that noise? Okay, here's the second floor. Lock is broken, of course it is. What did it say? The third level ceiling has crumbled. For safety's sake, entry is forbidden. Okay, then. The toilet. I thought this building was still under construction, but it looks like this has been used. What is that sound? Is there someone stumbling around the place? This is so weird. Please don't tell me this is going to be another boss fight. There's a little home made up of cardboard boxes and old blankets. I guess a squatter was living here. Hmm. Is that so? I mean, it would make sense if they just gave up on construction. But still, why would anyone want to live in a place that looks so dilapidated? I mean, you'd think the place would just cave in on you at any second. Why would you just want to live in somewhere somewhere like this? If I was homeless, I wouldn't be anywhere near this place. Or at least a place like this. Oh, wait. Um, uh, a filthy mattress. Will you drop into the hole? Sure. Ah, there we go. I dropped the mattress in this cushion. I should have no problems jumping now. Now, okay then.
Oh, so that's just it? There's not- you're not gonna say anything? Oh, and there's a hole in the wall right there. Is there anything left to collect? I don't think there is, so let's go through it. Oh, what the fudge. Oh, isn't that convenient? Oh, how lovely. Just a random room with some, uh, like, tea with f whatever the hell this stuff is. Where am I now? Oh, that's creepy. That is actually honestly creepy. I don't like mannequins like that. The box is filled with mannequin heads. I think I'll pass on this one. Yeah, I agree. This is the only mannequin with a head. There's something weird about the headless one. Like they can still see me or something. Uh, I don't like it. You know, I have absolutely no idea where I'm supposed to go. I don't even know if I was supposed to grab, like, a map somewhere or something. Well, this is a different room. Got a jack. What would I use the jack for? Oh, maybe the uh, open elevator doors on the lower floor? There we go. Finally, I got a map. My gosh. And a rope! I think. Yeah, there we go. Ha ha. Here we go. Now that I've got a rope, I can put it down here. There we are. What is this room? Is there a reception area? There are catalogs scattered around. Hmm. Beef jerky. Hmm. Dog fear. You know, it's real enough to bite. Lamp heads and flower vases, I don't need either. Wait. Underneath the covers are more display items. No time to be worrying about this. Yeah. It's just for dis display. It can't really be used. Okay, then. Oh, so this is like a display area. Now I get it. Oh, wait. It's a cracked flower place vase. Is this supposed to be for sale, too? Hmm, maybe. I knew it. It's being invaded by the other world, by a world of someone's nightmarish delusions come to life. Oh no, not again. Did she do this too? That was an odd facial expression. I'm twisting the handle, but nothing's coming out. Hmm. It looks like now we're in the other world, guys. Quite early, in all honesty, to be in the other world. This is really strange. Oh, that's creepy. Handgun bullets. There's a doll in the wheelchair. I have a bad feeling about this. Yeah, you should feel have a bad feeling about it. Oh, there's something there. Find the Holy One. Kill her. That's me. Who could have taken this photo? That's really creepy. I've got no idea. Oh, save space. Save station.
Heather. That's what you're called now, isn't it? And who are you? The name's Vincent. Don't forget it, okay? I'm on your side. So you say. But how do I know you're not with her? Her? You mean Claudia? Please don't lump me together with her. She was totally brainwashed by that crazy old hag. Well, I guess crazy old hag is a bit harsh. She is your mother, after all. My mother? What do you mean? You don't remember? Ah, uh, so Harry didn't tell you anything. I guess he hid the truth to keep you on his side, eh? That figures. He's a pretty sneaky guy. Don't talk about my dad like that! Sorry. I apologize. Please, calm down. How do you know my father anyway? I know everything. I know about your past, too. Then tell me what's going on. You don't know even that? That's why I'm asking. If you know everything, then tell me how I can put an end to this. Not yet. Why not enjoy yourself a bit longer? Enjoy? I feel like I'm going crazy. Does this place get to you at all? It gets to me all right. I find it most fascinating. Wait! I'm not finished talking! I knew you were on her side. How do you figure? There's something wrong with you too. Okay got something oh there was a bunch of stuff in there ooh that's nice junior high school chemistry book here when you pour diluted hydro hydrogen peroxide onto manganese dioxide oxygen is produced although oxygen will not burn on its own it will help other things to burn oxygen is also formed when the disinfected oxidol is poured over onto grated vegetables or liver. Hmm. I honestly have no idea what to do next. <laughs> There's a caption under the picture. Flame purifies all, but those remains may these these remains may a person find the road to paradise. I've seen this picture before. No wait, I've seen it. I've never seen it, but I do know it somehow. Why is this blocked off? That's really weird. Okay, it seems I possibly have to go through several other floors in order to find the items I need. Then I have to, apparently, there might be several puzzles that have to be done together. I'm not too sure. Oh my, this is weird. What the fudge? There's a reason I'm thinking is liver. I hope it's not rotten. Pork liver. Okay then. Strangely enough, I haven't woke that thing up, which is great. I'm glad I didn't wake it up. The priestess accepted the king's request and went to the village's gates. But when she saw the monster, she tried to convince it with words instead of killing it. Shut up, you. I'm going to eat you up, the monster. The monster didn't listen to a word the priestess said. But she kept trying to convince the monster to give up. It's wrong to eat people, you know. The monster grew very angry at this and attacked her, killing her with a single mighty blow. No beginning and no end. I really didn't understand that story. It's probably just some pages torn out from the middle, middle of a book. Probably. Hmm. Okay, what is this room? Just completely empty, but it looks like there's something on the other side of that. Hmm. Oh, this is open. Yay. Oh no, one of those things came out from underneath the bed. Ow! 
Where in the heck even am I? Silver coin. Hmm. The lamp shining on some old silver coins I know I've seen before. I've got, I got one earlier, so I shouldn't really take any more. Oh, wait. I don't need any more coins. Okay, then. This place sure as hell is turned over. What's this? There's some writing on the wall. Thus one's life it turns to riches. What was a bag of silver coins is now the number in a book. Yet fate hath no price. Ah, but do people know this? I don't get it. Just a plain old vending machine. This one sells is selling canned drinks. Come to think of it, I'm kind of thirsty. I'd feel weird drinking anything sold in a place like this, though. I agree with you. Th I, I completely agree with you there. You shouldn't drink anything out of a place like this. That would be bad for your health. It'd probably kill you. <laughs> is this a monster, the monster from that book? If it is, and I don't watch myself, it'll got me up in no time. Uh, why not all bark and a lot? Anyway, how it's in the way, I can't get past it, and what a pain. Hmm. Oh, there's a page on the ground. This is the next part of that fairy tale I found. No, wrong. This is actually the beginning of that story. Once upon a time, there was a monster living at the gates of a village. It was a very scary and a very bad monster. It would catch people and crunch them up with its big teeth. The villagers were afraid of the monster, and no one would dare approach the gates. Everyone was stuck inside the village. When the king heard about this, he summoned his knights. The knights eagerly rode out to defeat the monster. Ha! Take that! Their swords slashed and their spears flashed, but the monster wouldn't die. The monster tossed the knights into its mouth one by one, horses and all. What was the king to do? He fretted and fussed and paced the floor, but could think of no solution. Soon after, the village priestess came to the castle. She was a very kind and good person. The king asked her to defeat the monster guarding the gates. So the only part missing is the end, I guess. But I feel like I've, fe I've read the story before somewhere. I just can't remember exactly how it ends. Maybe I never did read it through to the end. Life insurance key. Okay, I have no idea where the life insurance area is. <laughs> <laughs> ah, here we go. The end of that fairy tale. The king and his people shed tears at the death of the kind priestess. God took pity upon them and granted their granting their wishes healed the priestess. The priestess the priestess opened her eyes just as she had done every morning of her life. She went once more to the monster's lair. Fool, you wish to die again? No, this time it's your turn. The priestess had come to defeat the monster once and for all. As the priestess was very, very kind, she felt sad about this task, but it had to be done. Swords and spears won't work. Arrows and bullets will just bounce off you. You can't kill me. The monster laughed, but the priestess used neither sword nor spear. She chanted out but a single spell. Tufui, ego eris. Do you know what happened to them? What happened then? The monster let out a huge cry and then died and vanished. Thus, the villagers were able to use their gates once more. Everyone lavished their gratitude upon the priestess, and they all lived happily ever after. Tu fui ego eris. Weird writing. <gasps> what was that? That was the monster downstairs, ha ha. Wait, are the slurpers gone? Huh, I think we got rid of them. And the monster is gone, yay. Where the hell am I now? I think I'm back in the normal world, but it's so freaking dark. I think I'm going the right way, but I'm not too sure. 
Ooh, apartments. The Daisy Villa Apartments. Oh. Dad, I'm home. Listen, something really crazy is going on. I think we should... Dad? Dad? Did you do this? You're late. But why? Why? Revenge for 17 years ago, for one thing. If not for him, our dream would have come true. And then he took you away from us. I'll get you for this! another reason to fill your heart with hatred it must be this way one day you'll understand why no I'll never understand you must try to remember me and your true self as well you will birth a god and build an eternal paradise the one who killed your father. I merely gave the order. So, what will you do? I'll be waiting where all begins. In the town of Silent Hill. Oh fudge. Ooh. Fudge, ow, fudge. You really think running is gonna help you? Ow. There. Gotcha. Ow. There we go. Gotcha again. There, I think I killed. No, gosh dang, I thought cut us when I killed you. I'm wasting all my dang shotgun ammo. Now you're gonna stay dead? I think so. Yay. Out of here and leave me alone already! Calm down. I just. Calm down? How am I supposed to do that? My father is dead! He's murdered! Get out! 
out. This is all your fault. If it weren't for you... I'm sorry. Then go! If it'll make you feel better, I will. Is he okay like this? What else can I do? There's no one here to give him a decent burial. <sighs> I'm sorry, Dad. What do you do now? I'm going to Silent Hill. What's in Silent Hill? I don't know. Do you think it's safe? Of course it isn't. I don't know what kind of hell is waiting for me there, but I've got no other choice. I don't care about God or paradise. If that's what she believes, then fine. But she won't get away with what she did. When I find her, I'll kill her myself. Revenge doesn't solve anything. Maybe not, but that's what I'm going to do. How are you going to get there? None of your business. I'll give you a ride. I don't need your help. Yeah, but it's too far to walk. Besides, I'm partly responsible for this. I'll bring the car around back. Come by when you finish saying goodbye. You know, you might die too. That's fine. Nobody's gonna cry over my grave. Okay, we're finally here. What the hell? Oh, I'll be back, Dad. I promise I'll come home soon. Oh, closet, nothing to see here. Okay, then. Nothing odd about the TV or the VCR. Dad's bookshelf, there's nothing unusual about it. Yeah, of course. Uh, there are books on the table, just as usual, detective novels. Yeah. Aw. Oh. Dad, why did you have to die? You told me you were the strongest man in the world. Liar. Aw. Oh. That's so sad. You'd think there'd be a save station somewhere. Stun gun! Ooh! That's gonna be useful, I think. Maybe. But seriously, where the hell's a safe station when you need it? I don't need to be here besides there's no one around, I figure so. So, where do I go? What does it mean by the back way? Safe station, yay! Anyways guys, I'm gonna end this video here. We've been going for long enough. We'll continue this in the next episode. Thank you all for watching. Let me know your thoughts. I thought this was pretty interesting. Took me a while to get to this point, though. I mean, a lot of, like, a lot of backtracking and stuff that I had to do, jumping between floors, finding things I missed. Yeah, wasn't a big fan of that. There might have been a, we a weapon in the last area that I missed, but I don't think there was, in all honesty. So yeah, thank you all for watching, and yeah, without further ado, see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye!